but some of the disadvantages are alcohol is only boiling point of 78 degrees celsius so any element whose boiling point is much higher it will take a lot of time to uh, i mean like if the boiling point of any substrate is about above 80 degree then this thermometer cannot measure that so these are some of then also you have clinical thermometer so clinical thermometer is the thermometer which is usually used in laboratory like it has the range between 35 degrees celsius to uh, 42 degree celsius so it's one of it's uh it's a it's a very uh sensitive thermometer so this thermometer i usually use for calculating the temperature of human body so like i said you uh, usually they are, can be used in laboratory as well as in hospitals and all with the help of which they measure the temperature of the human being and the normal temperature is given us is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. So I want my children to convert this 98.6 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. I hope with the help of that formula, they'll be easily calculating it. And then after that, we have also we also have uh, laboratory thermometer calibrating. So as you can see out here in the diagram, uh, laboratory thermometer how it looks like. So. <coughs> the range is from minus 10 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius so with the help of this it is also able to uh, measure some of the it, it is easily able to measure some substance if it is below freezing point it is also able to measure that and if some of the substance is above boiling point it can measure this with the help of laboratory thermometer then after that digital thermometer so a, a very advanced technology these days with the help of this it shows you in the number like you can see it in the number it will show you the temperature out there unlike the old thermometer it doesn't have mercury so some of the advantages are there it is very easy to carry light weighted and accurates are perfect in case of other thermometer as you can see it was scale so we had it was it could have been tough time measuring the scale but in this case it exactly shows in digital value so it is of great easiness now some of the effects of heat we try to see what are the advan i mean what are the effects of heat some of the effects are metal expansion on heating so metals substance all the metals if heated it expand that means it will become uh, it will expand means uh, it will try to be a bit bigger liquid expands on heating so liquids also in some cases they try to expand it will try to be a bigger so you can see out here uh, the exam you might have seen your mother putting metal lid of a new jam bottle in warm water so that it can be open easily the lid expands on heating and it becomes loose it can be open easily so these are some of the experiment which is done at home so usually during the winter time it contracts that means you ha you have very difficult time opening the bottle so just put it inside the hot water it, it will expand and it will open same way gases also expand on heating fix a small volume on the mouth of an empty bottle put the bottle in hot water you observe that balloon expand that means this experiment can be done at home so just take a bottle and inside the mouth put a uh, put a balloon and uh, inside the bottle put some water in uh, maybe the bottle shouldn't be of plastic uh, if possible use a metal bottle then start heating once the water is start boiling you observe that balloon will expand so here are some of the example given you this is known as thermal expansion now some of the practical events we will see especially this one though in case of the rail leaks in case of rail leaks like you can see out uh, see out here some gaps are made so the reason for me these gaps are because during the time of summer this iron will also expand and while doing so if this there are some gaps between so in in this gap the expanded form of iron can be fitted if there are no gaps out here that time during the time of expansion there might be some crack in the railway lines now transfer of heat now transfer of heat usually takes place in three part first one let's study is conduction now in case of conduction now before conduction some small parts to know like suppose if you have 
a hot water and cold water and if you mix together what do you find you find that your water will become lukewarm that means it is neither hot neither cold the basic scientific reason behind that is transfer of heat is taking place that means hot transfer of heat takes place from hot water to cold water and in such case both the water will attain a such a state it will neither be hot nor cold this is known as equilibrium temperature this dead temperature uh, so uh, they are said to be thermally equilibrium and common temperature attain so that time suppose oh, there is a cold water in a glass and there is a hot water in a glass so both of them will be having different temperature suppose if you put both the water inside the bucket together that time you will be finding that both of the temperature will be different they will neither be hot neither be cold that measuring temperature is equilibrium temperature and that state will be your lukewarm state now heat is transferred like i said you from hot to cold now there are three modes of transfer of heat one is conduction first one conduction in case of conduction a material is required so like there is an experiment given to you out here what is usually done so as yes, you can see and bricks is there in in the bricks some nails uh, nails were kept so that nails were fixed with the help of uh, using a wax wax means uh, the substance with the help of which candle was made so the nail was stuck in the rod with the help of candles and as soon as heat was transferred you can see the nails were falling this shows that heat was transferred into the rod and because of that the wax which made nails attached to the rod started melting and because of that the nails started to fall that means it is being transferred through a medium that is your conduction now convection is also also more or less same but in case of convection what usually happens instead of solid uh, the medium uses air and water so that is convection like uh there are some not exactly in examples uh, as you can see out here ventilators are located near the ceiling of the room this allows hot air at the room to rise up and move out of the ventilator the fresh air from the wind rushes into uh, rushes to take place in the rising warm air that means the now with the help of this concept you will be able to understand why there is ventilator at your homes because through ventilators warm air is much lighter than cold air so they rise up and because of that they are able to move out the warm air now next thing which you need to remember is sea bridge and land bridge as you can see out here so sea bridge what usually happens we'll just take a look at that a sea bridge occurs near the coastal area as a result of con conventional current set up in there as the land is better conductor of heat than water it gets heated up faster during the day this makes air close to land to surface the warm air rises up and cold air from the sea rushes to uh, rushes rushes into it into take take its place this give rise to sea breeze now usually in case of sea breeze what happens the land becomes heated uh, like uh, as you can see the diagram land are heated much faster as compared to that of water so transfer of heat is just taking place in that case now in case of uh, land bridge it's somewhat the same at night time you find that uh, uh, at night time you fi find that because land get heated faster at night time you also find that uh, land get cooled faster and because of that transfer of heat will also be taking place from land to water so that is your land bridge now next one and finally is your radiation now in case of radiation uh, i will give you an example these are there are cases uh, where so, um, there are many cases the usual one is the rays of the sun you find that rays of the sun are coming from sun to earth and it has to travel a very long distance but in space we know that it it's just a vacuum it neither has any medium so how is it traveling it's because of radiation so radiation is also a medium now with the help of radiation we are able to experience the sun at our earth now other examples of radiation would be solar cooker 
Now solar cooker also works in the concept of radiation that means you have a panel or solar panel uh, in your rooftop and it is able to trap the heat through radiation and that's how cooking takes place. We also know that black color. Suppose you are wearing a black t-shirt during the summer time you would be feeling very hot. Why? Because black has the property to absorb radiation. That's why you shouldn't wear black clothes during the summer. With this we end the chapter and I would like to have, uh, I'd like my students to turn page 44 to choose the correct answer, fill in the blanks and if possible they can try doing uh, question number 4. If they can do that, uh, they can show me this in group. Thank you everyone.